All right, there's an update here to the white body. We've been working on it for some time. Some of you remember we built, we bought this car in an auction. It had uh, front and back damage. We went ahead and repaired it. We sourced all our parts from Ford. Uh, the reason we did that is because every junkyard where we were trying to get parts was more expensive than buying it direct from Ford. So everything we bought for this car was from Ford. Um, we actually had a better deal from the dealer than it was from the junkyard. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but it is not. Anyway, we got it, we repaired the car. We installed a body kit on this car because we wanted to have a unique looking car. Um, and we painted the car, we did a black, uh, deep deep black for this from the candy shop. Uh, the car looked great. However, when I installed the body kit, I did not like the bolts. They attached the body kit into the car and uh, they were exposed and I didn't like the hood to me. Um, it, it was just annoying to see all the hardware. You see, seemed like a cheap way of doing a, a body kit. Uh, that is just my uh, personal preference. Uh, this is my point of view. I'm not trying to bash anyone who has it done that way. I just didn't like it. And um, so that's the reason I decided to go ahead and mold in my, uh, my body kit into the car because I like just to have a car that looks more like finished, more I guess, uh, yeah, more complete, not just something that I slap in it. And uh, so we got it. We worked with fiberglass on the path. So we know the process is, you know, you know, I, I built the uh, 67 Mustangs and we we have those L&R body kits or Shelby body kits into these cars. And they're mostly done by uh, having fiberglass uh, attached into the car. So we've done these before. Um, I'm gonna say we have quite a bit of experience. We have probably about 25 years working with cars like that. Um, and uh, so we decided to do it on this car. It's coming along uh, nicely. Uh, there's quite a bit of work with that. Uh, you have to really have patience. Uh, we decided to go ahead and uh, disassemble all this uh, body kit so that we can actually um, work on it and be able to paint it and make it look right and uh, so that's the reason we removed the side mirrors uh, for that we had to remove the panels so you can see where we have uh, the doors with our panels and you know there's our mirrors there's quite a bit of work involved with this you have to keep on mind it's not easy uh, you know a lot of people just think that because they see a car uh, that is painted that you think you know it's easy and stuff that is just nice to have but you know in order for us to have a nice car it requires a lot of work a lot of time a lot of money a lot of effort for you to do all these little things um but we're excited because you know it's coming along nice and uh we, we've been working on it and i'm just very thankful that my dad actually supports all my crazy uh bullshit that i'm always trying to do uh you know it's uh it's a lot of work. He's actually the, the guy who does the body work. We just help him, but he's the man. Now, my father's up in age. He's uh, uh, 60, 68 years old, and uh, he's, uh, you know, he's just my uh, partner for everything here. He helps me with everything. He always, uh, no matter how crazy my dreams or goals are, he's always uh, there for me. I'm super happy and lucky to have my dad uh, helping me with all my projects. But, you know, we're going to keep on working. We're going to try to to do more videos as the process go, goes along so you can have an idea. If you ever decide you're, to do something crazy like this, you kind of will have a better idea what you're going to get yourself into. And I like to mention that we're not professionals. We do have the shop and we do have a bunch of tools. But everything we do, we are actually self-taught. We've never worked in a body shop. We never work with a mechanic or painters. Uh, my father... Uh, Started painting cars a long time ago. The way we started painting cars, so it's uh, I paid a company to paint one of my cars that I built. And um, back in the day, I'm gonna say they charged me about fifteen thousand dollars. So it was a you know a pretty good amount of money for a paint job. And when the car got to when I picked up the car, the car was not as as good. My father saw it and he told me that. If I would give him a compressor and a paint gun, he would paint it for me and that he truly believed that he could do better. And um, at that point, I, I just decided to give it a shot because I really had nothing to lose. Um, 
So I went ahead and bought a, a paint gun and a compressor and my fire painted it. And in fact, uh, yeah, the paint job was better uh, than the, the what the company did. And it's crazy because there's so many things. It's not just, oh, I'm going to just paint a car. You have to get primers. You have to know uh, where, you know, find like sources for these, like companies that will sell these paint primers, thinners, reducers, clear coats, activators. There's so many things that go involved into painting a car, sandpaper. There are things that, you know, we've been learning over time and it's not easy, but, uh, I mean, it's been crazy. The ride has definitely been crazy. You have to know, you have to have a, a compressor that will actually work with your gun. You have to have a, a line fittings. Uh, the guns that you have for painting, they have different tape sizes. You have to know, you have to know the thickness of your materials, uh, your clears, high solids, uh, you know, like cheaper clears. I mean, there's so many things that go involved with that. But anyway, we've been learning, and uh, our jobs are not perfect, but we do the best we can. We try, and they actually have uh, turned out really good. I have a lot of people that believe that we are pros, and, and I don't know what really makes you be a professional. We really try. We've been learning. We do the best we can all the time, and I, I believe the difference between us and people who actually do this for a living is that, that whenever you get into a production uh, thing of pain or a production shop. I mean, they just care about making the money, getting it done, moving to the next one, making money. And we're not like that. We actually take the time to go over the little things, little details, and um, we we paint it. We will make the time to do it to what we believe is right, to what we believe is going to look good. And that's the difference with us. And uh, I mean, we're we're happy because we've been uh, growing and. Uh, you know, things are coming along pretty pretty good, but uh, we're gonna keep on doing what we do. We have quite a bit of projects that uh, we wanna um, keep working on, and and I think this is gonna be um, really, really good when we get it done. There's so many things, as, as I mentioned before, they're going bold with this. Uh, these are the custom wheels that we order for this car. Um, just keep in mind whenever you build a car that, you know, one thing leads to another. We got the body kit for this car. Then, uh, since it's a wide body kit, we needed to have a different offset of wheels. We got them here. We had to order them. These are 20 by 13 inch wheels. And just to give you an idea, I mean, um, these wheels are really wide. These are 20 by 13 on the back. We have 20 by 11s on the front. Um. So, you know, all those little things that we had custom made for the car have led for us to have new new things. Uh, like we are debating whether we're going to change the color on this car. We want to have something that's really going to stand out. And black was beautiful. However, I own another black car and it's also convertible. And, you know, there's so many things that go involved with this. But uh, we're going to be working on it. We're going to get it done. Stay tuned. Let us know what you think. Uh, please... Uh, Comment, uh, tell us what you think, if you have any ad advice, any ideas, any uh, constructive uh, criticism. We, you know, we're out for, we're out, we're out for uh, hearing what you have to say. Uh, we'd like to thank all the people that follow our channel. Uh, thank you so much for making the time to, to share, to talk to us, to send us messages, to encourage us. And uh, we're very blessed and happy to, to have you all. And... Uh, Stay tuned, we'll be posting more videos, more pictures, and uh, let's just uh, have a really good week. Uh, we're gonna be starting today, and uh, thank you for watching.